Welcome to the Daily D and today we're making salted pretzel caramel brownies. Uh, they're pretty simple to make. Uh, the first step is you're going to just get a, um, a brownie mix, your choice, whatever kind you like. I always get the ones on sale so today we're using the brownie chewy fudge mix by Pillsbury and you're going to make it according to the package directions. Okay, So I've got my mix in here. Um, my particular one asks for a third cup of oil, a quarter cup of water, and one egg. And of course, like I said, that just depends upon what your mix calls for. So you're just going to mix this up. And you just want to make sure everything's evenly um, mixed. Uh, do, I don't, never use, uh, when I'm making brownies, I never uh, use a, a mixer. I always do it by hand. And you don't want to over mix them. You just want to make sure all the dry ingredients are mixed up. And to make sure you get to the bottom of the pan and make sure that's all mixed in. So now that it's mixed in and there isn't really any lumps, it's done. I preheated my oven to 350 and I've got an 8 by 8 inch pan and you're going to spray the bottom only with cooking spray and you're going to put the brownie mix in. sure and get all of that out. I'm just going to make sure it's to the kind of even. So I have some caramel pieces here and all I'm going to do is place the caramel pieces evenly. There's no specific number. I just kind of and these are just caramel pieces I've unwrapped and I've cut in half. Okay, that looks good enough. Now this is going to go into the oven until it's cooked according to the package directions. And we'll see you when we get... Our brownies are almost done. So this is the next step. I had a ten, about a 10 ounce bag of caramels. I used a few for um, to put in the brownies when we first started. The rest I've unwrapped and put in a bowl. I'm adding a quarter cup of butter. Spoon here. Quarter cup of butter. Oops. And a tablespoon of milk. Sorry about that, folks. And this is gonna go into the microwave for 30 second intervals after which I'm gonna stir until it's all smooth and we'll see you in a few minutes. So the caramel sauce is done. When this comes out, it's going to seem like the caramels and the butter are separated and you're just going to just keep stirring it a lot until, oops, that's really hot, um, until it combines. And you're just going to pour it over the warm brownies. You're not going to let the brownies cool down at all. You're going to move that, make sure they're completely covered. Okay, and then you are going to put one cup of, um, about one cup of chopped pretzels, salted pretzels. I, I just do them roughly. I, you don't, I don't crush them at all. And you can stop. You don't have to put the whole thing on when you want to. On top of that, you're going to put about three quarters of a cup of chocolate chips. And these chocolate chips should melt a bit. And if they don't, sometimes if your oven is still a bit warm, you could just put it in for a minute or two to get them to melt a little bit. Trying to get them around. evenly. 
So if you do put these back in the oven, it's not to cook it. It's just to help them warm up a little bit. And then you can take uh, score bits, toffee bits, whatever you have. Um, and I just put a few over them. I'm in Canada, so we have score bits. I think in the U.S. it's more toffee bits. Okay, and you're just going to let this sit. Sometimes, in, to encourage it, I will put just a piece of tin foil over it to let it, um, to let the chocolate chips melt. And if that doesn't work, I put it, pop it back in the oven just for like maybe a minute. So we'll see you in a minute. So I just put tin foil on for a couple of minutes. Um, these chocolate chips are melted, but you know, with being chocolate chips, they kind of keep their form. So sometimes I'll just take a spatula and move them around a bit so they look more like melted chocolate rather than, you know, they lose their chocolate chip shape. And so this is just going to sit and rest until it's um, cooled, and then we're going to cut it into squares. Um, this recipe will be posted below in the description. Don't forget to check out all of our recipes. We have a playlist called Recipes. Check those out. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time.